All right, this project started as a way to find an ice fishing house. Um, and the most economical way to do it was campers, it seemed like. However, I didn't like most of the campers because they cut holes in the floor and then put cones down or some type of cylinder down to the ice to fish through that way. I wanted something to be lowered to the ice. Found this guy in the cities that's invented this deal that lowers uh, the wheels and lowers the old camper down to the ice. Um, I can run it with my cordless drill, which is very nice. Nice part about this is it comes with new wheels, tires, axles, bearings, a whole bit, so I should never have to worry about anything like that on this thing. Like I say, it started as a small project, and my son got involved, and it turned into a very big project. We basically gutted it. Um, covered it in car siding, re-insulated it, went through all the electrical, uh, kept the original light fixtures. Uh, the wife, she took and uh, reupholstered all the cushions in camouflage along with shades, curtains, however you want to word it. There's a bunk in here. Uh, it only it's got a weight of about 150 pounds, so I'd just put a kid up there if you wanted to. We're just using it for storage now. Um, came with a refrigerator. Um, fishes, fishes three. Uh, it's got six holes in it. Got this old industrial straight carpeting from a friend of mine. He's in the business, so got a good deal on that. Took out the old heater. Um, this heater was in it after re insulating and everything, seems to be more than adequate. Sold the old heater to a guy that's building a fish house and kept the vent in the door because we put this portable air conditioner in here to keep it cool in the summertime. And a flat screen TV. Um, with some rope and lighting around it just for the fun of it. Remove the 110 so nothing runs on batteries so I'll have to get a generator. However I do have an area here where I can add a gas lantern so we have gas and, uh, and 110 lighting. Um, the only original stuff on it is the wood back here. We left that up there just kind of for a conversation piece. Uh, there was a slight leak in the roof. We removed one of the vents uh, and we bought a product from Menards called Duck Cover. Um, works really well. It's easy to work with. It painted on uh, like paint and then it dries to a rubber. Uh, we drove it a ways. Uh, another uh, little leak came up so we put another coat on it. It seals just fine. So good product. Recommend it. Uh, in the summer we use it as a guest house um, at the lake. It seems like the teenagers and the kids they like to hang around here look like their own little space play cards and do whatever. In the fall I'm going to use it as a fishing shack, or not a fishing shack, but a hunting shack. And then in the winter of course we're going to use it as an ice house. So like I said, my son got involved with this, uh, turned into a, a little bigger project than I thought it was going to be originally, but it turned out really nice. Uh, appreciate all the help we had from everybody here. So anyway, uh, one other thing I would like to mention, by going with the car siding on the wall, it really stabilized the trailer. And by taking it down to the bare studs, we could re, uh, replace any studs that were bad or rotten, find out where all the leaks were and things like that. So and it really made for a, for a solid trailer now. Didn't add that much weight because we took everything else out of it. And uh, the wheel assembly went from two wheels to one set of wheels, which lined it up too. So that's the tour. Um, hope you enjoyed it.